Hey everybody, it's Eric from Varmer Magazine, varmer.com. First off, let me start with Franklin Armory F17L and 17WSM. It does not stay locked open, but it is clear. Um, it's been a little bit. Uh, Winchester has finally released new batches of ammunition. You can find it at Walmarts. It'll probably show up other places, but just be aware at Walmart, you're looking at about $19, $20 for a box. Keep that as your price point. Um, don't go and, you know, go to the retailers that are selling for $35.40 and stuff like that. Um, however, today I didn't want to talk much about the Franklin Armory because I'm out here only briefly. I was shooting another rifle. I just wanted to see where it was shooting with my suppressor on, which is a little bit low. Um, I want to talk today about the Athlon optic I have on here. So this is a Midas HMR. It's 2.5 to 15 by 50 millimeter. And I just wanted to say how great this is this scope is for matching up with something like this rifle 17 wsm and i've had it on another rifle as well a center fire and i really like it it's very crisp um, everything dials nicely clicks are very audible i mean i'm not giving a full review on this yet um, we will be doing box tests and such but when i'm out here and i had to sight in real quick because i had this you know this low shooting with the suppressor on i mean boom, it's there. It moved exactly where I wanted it to move at the distance that I was at. So take a look at these things. They are priced very fair for what you get. Um, they're very compact. They're not very heavy. And they basically are perfect for setups like this. And I've been finding myself, a lot of you guys know when I, when I talk about when I shoot, I don't keep my optics up at like 24 all the time or 25. You know even 20 all the time a lot of times i shoot in the you know anywhere from 12 to 16 range so this one right here is perfect because I, I cranked it up to 15 when i was shooting groups but normally i'll have it around eight or so if i'm walking around and for prairie dogs it's just going to be perfect it's got hash marks um, i'm going to be testing before i leave just to see where my 17 wsm ammo hits according to their hash marks so i can have a dope within the optic as well as a dope up here that i remember for some of these shots because prairie dogs um, where we're going you know you have options to shoot hundreds of yards out there and the 17 wsm with a good optic um, you definitely can make those shots and that's about it uh, i will have more on this scope we're going to start doing box tests on scopes real simple ones we don't want to bore you guys but we are going to do real simple box tests and everything but with the way this has been working with with adjustments i've made not only now but before when you know when I was short on ammo and I needed to take care of some stuff with 17 WSM rifle the F17 um, you know everything is just perfect it's been perfect I had to move it here about two inches and I'm at 75 yards I did the math click 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 boom I'm there no problem so take a look at these um, Athlon optics that's A T H L O N optics and stay tuned we're gonna have more of this setup and everything out in northern Arizona shooting prairie dogs with it. So I'll be doing some live stuff while we're out there if we've got good enough internet. But this will be um, all covered and everything like that in September when, when everything's all ready to roll. And that's just in time to pop one of these on and you know go after some of that stuff. But this is gonna sit on this for this trip and then it is probably gonna go on to a coyote rifle um, of mine that I'm gonna use. Uh, possibly an AR-15, just like this one, but center fire. I think it's going to do really well. Really, really well. So that's it. Just want to talk about other accessories we use. Uh, keep an eye out, and we'll see you over at varmer.com. Thanks. So many of you don't know that we actually have a website, and we have articles, videos, hunts, reviews, range reports, thermal optic info, and a lot more. A lot of these link up to the videos that we have on here so you can go back and refer to them as far as finding out information that you saw in the video but it, if it went by too fast you can click over on varmature.com and check out the article and all the information is there so we'll see you over at varmature.com thanks a lot for watching